In Greek mythology, the sirens were dangerous creatures who lured nearby sailors with their enchanting music and singing voices, only to shipwreck on the rocky coast of their island, claiming victims with their beauty. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this siren watercolor scene, the second installment of my mythological paint series. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to start my sketch with the color pencil Fuzzy Wuzzy from Crayola. Then I'm going to start the skin using the Artist Loft Watercolor 24 palette and my Pentel Aquash brush pen. Next, I'm going to begin the hair with the Koi Watercolor 24 palette and using the colored pencil Coral Reef from Crayola, I detail their bodies. Now I'm going to outline the eyes with the Pigma Micron pen in 02 and I'm going to use some Crayola colored pencils to detail the hair. I'm going to start their tails using my Koi watercolors and making sure the center of their tail is the lightest shade of their color of tail. And then I'm going back in with the Prismacolor color pencils in Parma Violet, True Green, True Blue, Orange, and Crimson Red. I chose the sirens because I've always been intrigued by them. Historically, they show up in the Odyssey. Of course, sirens manifest in many different forms, but I like the mermaid form the best. I always thought the whole idea of luring in sailors to their doom was really fascinating because these women were so beautiful yet so deadly. So I began to feel that there was one more siren I needed to create, so I decided to add her in the far left and I'm going to go ahead and finish her off camera. Next I'm going to draw and paint in some sea life including some starfish and some conch shells. Then I'm going to start to create the background beginning with the rocks the sirens are sitting on. From there, I began to color in the ship in the background and paint in the sky. At this point in the painting, you could really start to see the whole scene. You can almost see the sailors falling to their doom for these beautiful bombshells.
Next, I'm going to use the Pentel double-ended graphic marker in black to detail the ship. Then I fill in the water using the lightest color first and darkening the shade as I go. Then I'm going to detail the sea life with my tripless fineliner markers from Stabler. I decided I wanted to add some greenery or moss, if you will, to make all the colors pop out more and tie the theme of a rocky shallow coastal rock area. Next, I'm going to use my Artist Loft brush in number zero and the Folk Art Matte Finish Acrylic Paint to paint in the violent coastal waves. Then I'm going back in the Siren's Faces with the Artist Loft marker number R3 and Peony for the lips. Last but not least, I'm going to highlight their faces with the Uniball Signal in white. And that concludes today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.